Hello, lovelies, and welcome to another cash stuffing. If you are new here, welcome. My name is Lily. I am a 24-year-old cash budgeter and stuffer. I'm currently living with my boyfriend and our three dogs in our first home together, and we are really just trying to get a handle on our finances and our lives. So if any of that sounds like content that may interest you, I hope that you consider hitting that subscribe button and sending some support my way. But happy Cash Stuffing Tuesday, everyone. How was your weekend? How are things going? What's the deal? Um, things are pretty darn good over here. Things are moving. We have some things in the works. Things are coming up. I am very excited. Um, but today we are here to stuff my full-time paycheck for the fourth paycheck of March. This is a magic month, so we do have one more cash stuffing left um, next week or one more like paycheck pay period next week. Um, but for today, we are here for this one. Now, I do have a new budget planner. You guys might have seen over on my Instagram. This is for sale. Now, I have to keep the brightness pretty low here in order for it to kind of like balance out. I guess this is okay for right now. Um, but this is what the planner looks like. It is green. It's kind of hard to see. If you go online, you can obviously see better pictures of it. Um, there's like a lighter beige and then a darker grayish brown kind of color for the tabs um, and that's kind of just like the vibe for the planner. Now I'm obviously going to go to week four. I do, after many requests, um, have a video coming soon. I think it's going to be this Saturday or Sunday. I think it might be. If not, it'll be next weekend, but I think I'm going to try to get it for this weekend. Um, that is going to be a whole walkthrough dedicated to the binder, the binder, my budget planner, how I use it, how I set up my budget, how I use my planner to break down my budget, um, and sort of like a how to for the the background the building blocks the steps but i am planning on really showing you guys how i utilize the planner um and possibly hopefully to give you guys ideas for how you guys could too so that's gonna be coming soon but for now the planner itself is available for digital download in my etsy shop um and today we are here to stuff five hundred dollars i'm gonna turn the brightness down just a little bit because it just kind of washes everything out but let's give this a count we have 100 50 200 20 40 60 83 320 30 40 50 60 70 80 5 95 400 these fives are like brand new 405 10 15 20 25 30 35 40 45 6 7 8 9 50 wait one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, sixty. Four hundred and sixty is what we should have. I apologize. The five hundred threw me off, but to clarify, we left forty dollars in the bank for gas, so we're good. I just really should have made a note for that. Um, but four hundred and sixty dollars is what we have here. Um, I do have some new things. To show you guys today. Um, if you saw my last video with our happy mail from Savannah, um, I have a new binder today that I'm going to show you guys what I'm going to do with it, which is super exciting. Um, and then also I have another design of envelopes. They're not listed yet. Um, I haven't even like gotten to the final stages of that yet, but I wanted to run the design by you really quick. Um, if you guys are interested in something like this, they're just little flowers and then they have obviously the writing on them, but custom colors, custom words, whatever. Um, I'm playing with it. I think it's kind of cute, but I don't know if people will like them. So if you like them, let me know and I'll list them or like message me on Instagram and maybe we can like do something private. I don't know, but that's those if you're interested. But now we can get into the stuffing. So for our wallet here, let's see. So groceries, we have some rollover this week, you guys. We have 
10, 20, and $25. How crazy is that? So all of this is gonna go into our rollover savings envelopes at the end. I'm gonna add 100. Um, so we have 50, 70, 80, 95, and 100 in groceries. And then daycare is actually getting 25. I'm going to just swap that out because this one's already folded. Um, so 25 is gonna go into daycare. So let me just we'll update this. And then miscellaneous has one, two, three dollars left over. So we're gonna add five. Let me just one, two, three. Yeah, okay. So these three are like nicer. So I'm gonna save these and these are gonna go into the dollar savings at the end and then one two three just take some of like the less pretty ones so this one two three four five is going to replace those i hope that wasn't like overly confusing um but yeah okay let me just make sure yeah there's three okay So my gas money stays in the bank, but I budgeted 40 because I use upside and I get paid to get gas and you can too. Just sign up, use my code. You'll get extra money back on your first fill up. It's not like people aren't exaggerating. It's a fantastic app. I highly recommend you use it. Um, for extra ones this week, we have one, two, three, four, five, six dollars. So these are going to go into the dollar challenge at the end. And then for fetch, I do have some receipts to scan in. Similar, take pictures of your paper receipts. The app will give you points and you can redeem those points for gift cards as opposed to cash. Um, but that is that. I'm gonna empty out my change. Whoa. Alrighty. So that is gonna do it for my wallet. Now, my change jar here is looking a little light if you can't tell. And that is because Austin just asked me if I had any quarters. He needed like $4 worth of quarters. Don't know why, he was doing something with the Mustang. I don't know, maybe he was going to a car wash or something, I don't know. Um, and I said, just grab it out of the coin jar. Well, this looks very darn light to me. So I have a feeling that there was more than four quarter, four dollars worth of quarters taken out of here. So I'll have to investigate. But we are adding this to our coin jar for the week. And that is that. And now we are gonna go to our sinking funds. So the kiddos are getting 15. Austin paid for Aria's um, groom and Cedric's did end up being $100 after tip. He was like crazy, like mats and dirty and all that stuff. So he's all cleaned up. They're both beautiful now. <laughs> they already were, but you know what I mean? So the kiddos have 10, 20, 30, 45, 50, and 55. These are my floofy kiddos. Um, and then we're gonna go back to Christmas and we're gonna add five, which is super exciting. So we have one 200 in the bank to 25, 35, and 240. So we'll be able to condense this a little bit at the end of the year, at the end of the year, at the end of the month. That'll be fun. And then that is gonna do it for our sinking funds. Oh my goodness, can you clip? There we go. 
And then quickly, I am going to put $5 into major projects. So we have 10, 15, and $20. The current project we're saving for is the garage. So, slow and steady wins the race. <laughs> now, next we're gonna go to my bills, my expenses. I can't get over how this little pen loop holds the dashboard back. It is just, it's so convenient. I love it. Okay. So mortgage is getting $100 today. So we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, fifty, eight, and eight fifty. Eight hundred and fifty dollars is in a mortgage. Utilities is getting ten today. So we have fifty one, one fifty, seventy, ninety, two ten, two thirty, two fifty, two seventy, eighty, ninety, three hundred, and three ten. I'm gonna have to pull again like 115 out of here pretty soon. Well, that's okay. Nothing for internet today. Car insurance is getting five dollars. So we have one, two, three hundred in the bank. Four hundred, four twenty, forty, sixty, seventy, eighty, ninety-five, five hundred, five oh five, ten, and five fifteen. Nice. 515, we're about halfway there for August. Um, and then registration is getting five. Registration is August, sorry. No, they're both August. Oh, that's convenient. Registration and insurance both need to be done in August. That's kind of cool. One, 150, 565, and 170 is in registration. I genuinely can't remember if I added it in. I think I did. Well, we'll see. Best Buy is getting 20. So we have 50, 70, 90, 110, 130, 150, 60, and 170 in here as well. Phone is getting five. So we have 10, 20, 25, 35, 40, and 45 in phone. Mm. Sam's Club is also getting five today. So we have 20, 5, 30, and 35 in here. And this is due next February, so we're doing good. Student loans is getting 75, so a 50, a 20, and a five. And we have one 200, 253, 350, 70, 90, 410, 35, 45, and 450. In student loans. And this is for federal and personal. And then care credit is getting $30 today. 20 and a 10. So in total we have 50, 70, 90, 110, 130, 150, 70, 90, 200, 210, 15, 20, and 225. This one I did split up into five weeks for this month's budget, so I do have to stuff that one next week to hit the goal, but that is okay. So, next we have my savings binder, my first one. So, Manifest is getting five today, and we have 500. 550, 70, 90, 600, 605, 10, 15, and 620 in manifest. And then 5K savings is getting $10. 
So in total we have 50, 70, 90, 110, 30, 50, 70, 80, and 185. In 5K, emergency's not getting anything today, but deck of savings, I budgeted 25, so, and I think I had a 25 left. Didn't check before, but I hope so. Yes, we have two 25s. So we'll do this one. This is from Kristen from Intentional Living. We have 10, 20, and 25 left. Kind of make a mental note of that. Whoa. Sorry about that. <laughs> so a 20 and a 5 is going in here. And we have 1, 2, 3, 400 in the bank. 420, 40, 50, 60, 75, 85, and 490. So I'm starting to think that maybe the total of this savings challenge is supposed to be 500. But since we overstuffed it, we have more. I don't know. It was a mystery, but that's exciting. So I'm going to go ahead and do my rollover here quickly. So we have one five to put in here and I'm not counting, not counting, not counting. And we have two tens to put in here. Not counting them. Not at all. Not even going to look because I already counted the 20s. <laughs> no 50s yet, but we'll see. So that's it for this. And then before we add all of this into my savings binder or my, why did I say that? My dollar challenge, you guys might have seen my little, uh, my little, uh, goodness gracious, happy mail video last week where the lovely, beautiful and talented, um, Sav Saves sent me a beauty right here, a lovely little savings challenge book, savings, not just savings challenge book, but you know what I mean. Um, a crazy, amazing Toy Story themed binder with envelopes in it. And it is absolutely insane. And I can't believe that she sent me this. And I definitely went back and forth quite a bit over what I wanted to do with this, how I wanted to use it. Um, I had some good suggestions. Um, I was considering, ooh, that sounds good. I was considering debt pretty strongly, like one envelope for each like loan or card or whatever. Um, and I was thinking maybe for the garage or home improvements, but, and I still like that idea a lot. Um, cause I have like a whole list of things that I want to do around the house, different like major projects that would be good for this. But I took a little bit of inspiration from the theme of this beautiful book here. Um, and I ultimately decided that I am going to have this binder for hopefully a very, very long time and save extremely slowly in very small amounts <laughs> um, for a future child or children. Um, I'm not pregnant. I am not planning on getting pregnant anytime soon. Ideally, I would like to get engaged and married first, but things happen. You never know. Um, and Ideally, I just think I, I will be happy with myself if I start saving now. If you think about it, $10 a week is $520 a year, you know? So that is, or is it? Wait, did I just completely embarrass myself? 52? Yeah, that was stupid. It is, whatever. Stop second guessing myself. That was stupid. Anyway, whew. Um, that's a lot of money, especially over years and years and years. Um, and I'm thinking like till my future potential child is like an adult, a legal adult. Um, so that is my plan for this. And we are going to set this up together, which I am so stinking excited for. Um, so in my new planner, I made myself a um, page specifically dedicated to the baby. Now I understand that I have already filled this out for today's cash stuffing, 
my Etsy cash stuffing and my YouTube cash stuffing. So don't worry too much about what my iPad is lo looking like right now. Just focus more on this because we're gonna fill this in together. And there is a glare, so I apologize. I really don't know how to avoid that. Well, I guess like I can put it right here. So lovely lady also sent me one of her famous expo, expo markers. <laughs> so we are going to start this up. So I'm gonna fill out the categories. Um, there are eight, um, eight, cate eight envelopes here, I think. Two, three, four, yeah. I have nine categories, so I do have one envelope, um, just extra, I'm gonna stick it in the back for now. Um, I couldn't narrow it down fully um, between the final two, so I was like, you know what, let's just go with it. So, the first category, now, obviously, everyone's gonna have their own opinions as far as like what is important to be saving for. Obviously, I don't have children. Um, I don't have a plan to have them anytime soon. So there are certain things, obviously, that it's not gonna be on this list that are important to save for that I could add categories for and I most likely will in the future when that time comes. But for now, these are the categories that I am like, I'm talking a dollar a week, maybe, in each category, hopefully, if I have that in the budget um, for each of these. So just bear with me. So the first one, they're gonna get a little bit more serious as we go, but first one is clothing. So I don't want the glare, but I wanna like, right normally, you know what I mean? So clothes is the first one on this beautiful woody. Um, I figure clothes, we're gonna need baby clothes, we're gonna need a back to school clothes. Clothing is gonna be like a consistent thing that I'm gonna need to provide for my child. So that is something like a category to save for. Um, the next category I have is more specific to the baby period, I understand, but I can always obviously change the category. Um, but that is diapers and wipes. Whoa, we slid down. Diapers and wipes. Obviously, I know I have a lot of people in my life that love me, that want to help us and provide for us, and I will have a baby shower, God willing, and people will help. Um, and I understand that, but I definitely don't want to rely on that. So I know that this is something that I'm going to need to have saved. <laughs> um, the next category that I picked is equipment and like furniture, equipment slash furniture. And I'm talking car seat, cribs, stroller, beds, um, desks eventually, maybe a vanity if I, I don't know. I'm thinking way ahead, but furniture, equipment, larger purchases that I'm gonna need, you know, for the baby. <laughs> Anything for the nursery, all those things. That's what that's the track that I'm thinking for that one. Okay, so next I have extracurricular activities. And I'm talking like if that involves travel when they're younger, um, if they you're getting older, they want to do sports clubs random things, extracurricular activities, things for them to be able to um, to do. You know, I don't need to over explain that one. Okay, so now we're getting a little bit more realistic here. Um, medical is my next category, obviously. It's gonna be expensive to have a child in so many regards. Um, I am not prepared for that, but the medical side of it, hospital bills, um, medicines, vaccines, doctor's appointments, all of these things from the minute that I get pregnant <laughs> um, is going to be expensive. So I'd like to have at least a little bit of something saved up to help me for those things. Um, next, I have first car. 
okay, um, I got at least 16 years <laughs> and a month um, until I might have to worry about that. Um, and you never know, we might get to that point again, thinking ahead of myself, and they might take my vehicle and I might get myself a new one. And that this might go towards that. Who the heck knows? Okay. I do hopefully plan on having them budget and cash stuff from a young age, like allowances and stuff. So who knows where they'll be at that point. But if I have a solid savings for it, I'll feel better myself. So that's why I'm doing it. Okay. So next the next category that I have is simply savings. Um, wait. Oh, no, it's not. Anyway, I swapped them around, but that's okay. Savings. This is just savings for them. Maybe on their 18th birthday, maybe their sweet 16, whatever it may be. A savings to rely on, maybe even pull from here for their allowance. I don't know. I'm obviously, again, a million times I'm going to say it, getting ahead of myself, but this is for their savings, point blank. Next, I have a college fund. Okay. Enough said. College is expensive and I want to be able to provide and help my child however I am able to. So if I start saving for college now, I'll have about 18 years, but at least at a very minimum, probably a couple more added to that, um, that I need to worry about saving for this. So we'll see what, what's 520 times 18? That's $9,000. So if that's a minimum, you guys, you know, the, the opportunities are, are endless. Um, I do have one extra category. It's emergency. This envelope was sent to me from Love Hue on Etsy. Um, I changed it out when I like re redid all of my envelopes, but I obviously still have it. So my final category for this binder is emergency, like a baby emergency. So that is going to be, um, in the back there and we'll go from there. I think I'm just going to try to stop fighting the glare here um, as we move forward and we're just going to deal with it because I am going to be stuffing and writing on these. So it's, it is what it is, but we are going to be stuffing all of these today with at least a dollar. So I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So one of them is getting two dollars but we'll go from there so what's today's date today is the 19th we are going to add one dollar to clothes stick with me you guys because we're starting now we're starting here right now but one day you know day one one day this will be worth it and i am so excited for that day so excited Okay, so we are also going to add a dollar to diapers and wipes. These are so freaking cute. She literally makes envelopes and binders out of books and covers and pages. Like, it's crazy. Equipment is getting one dollar. I know this is very repetitive right now, but it will be worth it. It will be worth it. Okay, extracurricular activities is getting $1. And then, so is medical. And <laughs> so is first car, just stick with me. It is so surreal having this in front of me and like I'm not looking at it from like my screen watching her videos. Crazy, crazy, crazy. Okay, that got a dollar. Wait until I'm able to write a hundred on here, okay? That's gonna be nuts, nuts. So, savings is getting one 
and so is college fund. And obviously I don't have a tracker for emergency, but today this one is getting $2. So these last two for this are gonna go right in here and I'm just gonna leave this in the back. Ugh, I am so excited, you guys. We are starting a new journey here today. Could not, I, I can't tell you. I am just so, so excited. I'm so grateful for Savannah and so excited to see how this goes. But last, certainly not least though, we have our dollar challenge and we are adding one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine hole buckaroos into this zipper pouch here. This is linked in the description of every video if you're interested. Um, but yeah, that is gonna wrap up today's cash stuffing, you guys. Thank you so much for watching. I really hope that you enjoyed, and if you did, please don't forget, please don't forget to give this video a huge thumbs up, leave a yellow heart in the comments to show your support for the channel, and of course, subscribe, join this journey. We got a lot of stuff coming. Thursday is gonna be our thankful Thursday cash stuffing, and then this weekend is either going to be our YouTube paycheck cash stuffing, or our walkthrough of the digital planner. Um, or both. It very well could be both, so just be prepared. Um, if not, then one of them is going to come next weekend. We're also, next week's going to be our magic month cash stuffing. We're going to have our unstuffing and our bill exchange and all of that stuff. So lots of stuff is coming. Um, but yeah, with all that being said, thank you so much for sticking around with me, and I hope that you have a fantastic rest of your day, week, month, year, and I will see you in the next one. Bye.